The Rust Brain Cup 8 qualifier number 2 is drawing closer to its end here as we enter the grand final. Neutron, perhaps not the biggest surprise to see him here. He has been putting up consistently amazing results over the last couple of two months, maybe. But Shaddai, he had disappeared from the scene entirely. But now he's come back. We just saw him in the semi-final looking amazingly strong. Albeit that was an undead mirror. Maybe his strongest matchup. Maybe not something we can take away too much, too much away from. But let's see. I saw great potential from him. I wonder what he's going to store for us here. DK first, no craziness there, but what is going on here? Neutron, kind of Mr. Keeper himself. Keeper again. Not only against human, but also against undead. And I'm already mentally preparing myself to be seeing even more Keeper in the next coming days on ladder. Than I already have. And yeah, Keeper makes this a very different game. Usually, when you pl play Demon Hunter, you're pretty limited in your options. Yes, you're fast, especially if you go for the boost, you have good damage, but you don't have control. With good ghoul blocks, um, most of their stuff will survive, even if you get quick level 3, which, however, is very hard to get. Even on a map like this. But with Keeper, you have Entangle. You have Treants. You can tip the scales. You can change the game. The mana is no longer what it was. And especially amazingly powerful once he gets to level 3. And with the Keeper that's easier than it is with the Demon because you have the summons. The Treants can tank for you. Go for this camp, this camp, this camp, something along those lines. DK here going across aggressively, even scouting for unusual Ancient of War positions. There might be some mind games going on here between the two. First entangle. Ooh! <laughs> Looked a little bit scary there. Almost getting surrounded. Tech pretty early. Tech here. A town is under siege. He's not teching. Could have teched a lot earlier. Gets that wisp with the first coil that he used. Is he just gonna oh, Okay, he's creeping this with ghouls only. If a lightning shield comes in here, this is very painful. But the Renegade, uh, I don't know. Sometimes he casts a Lightning Shield, most of the time he doesn't. Oh, he's even got Backpack, that's pretty cool. Can bring the item with the Ghouls. And I like this opening here from Shaddai as well. Keeps the Knight of Busy, creeps to level 2, can bring the item. Only thing missing here for him is a Dust, I guess. Um, I don't think he killed an Archer yet. One Wisp at least. He killed more, actually. Two Wisps, I think it was. And that wisp is stuck. That's dead. This is another one dead. This is at least three wisps dead. Oh, but this could be a three units around right now. Oh, and he gets it as well. Wow. That was so sick. Only had the three units to get this around and he gets it against the moon well. That was really nice. And that TP is uh, valuable. Very valuable. A player's forces are under attack. Keeper found some nice items here. Quite a bit more damage now for him. Moving across the map. Oops, missed that. That's another wisp dead. He only has one, two, three, four wisps on lumber right now. That is super low. And he forgot about the Hunter's Hall. Oh man. TP is gone. That's a little bit scary. But other than that, it's an amazing opening for Shaddai here on AZ. That's what I was talking about with the Keeper here. You can creep this a lot easier than you would be uh, other otherwise. He's got and scouts the Night Elf, so now he's going to be creeping somewhere else. Because you want to avoid this Keeper as much as you can, really, for a long time, actually. A player's forces are under attack. Nice base layout, by the way. Keeper has to come in from here or here, so he's going to be slowed down by the tower. Sacrificial Skull might just be for region or whatever. And there's the entangle. But there is a coil. Oh, that kill Town is, is almost... Oh, he's trying for the surround. It's dangerous. He gets it. He gets the surround. No, he doesn't. He closes it with the creeps. The creep keeps the surround closed. Oh my god. 
Keeper gets level 3, but he's get, definitely going to have to TP out of this. Nice that he gets another, yes, other ghoul as well. Getting two ghoul kills here. Three ghoul kills. Not using the coil there. Could have saved at least one of those. But TP gone for the Keeper is dangerous as well. He went for the Shredder here to alleviate his lumber issues. Very expensive though. A player's forces are under attack. Keeper's coming back in again. Really good skeleton scouting. Knows exactly where the Keeper is. Knows how far he can stay here. How long he can stay here. He's counting the seconds. And probably thinks he's not going to have the time for the big one. Oh, actually he does. Because the Keeper's creeping instead. That's greatly surprising to me. Um, opening up the expansion, of course, is great. Alchemist second. This is the combo we've been seeing time and time again. Soaking up a bit of experience here on the Keeper. Maybe not ideal. The Entangle plus the Acid Bomb is amazing damage potentially against single targets. Slaughterhouse in the back. Of course, the uh, Dispel in this game. The Destroyers are going to be the mortal enemy of the Keeper. There's the Wisp. Is he going to go for this Expo now? He's got double lures coming. He's got the resources for the expansion if he wants it. But maybe he wants to go for two Dryads first. Hmm. Nice tree and scouting as well. Sees the undead. Quite a few potions here for Shaddai. And no expo just yet. Got a sentry ward here. That's very nice to always have vision. Um, I don't know, this keeper. Couldn't this be played more aggressively? Hmm. There's the sentry. Sees what's going on. It's a lot of damage. This keeper entangle is level 2. And Chemical Rage plus Acid Bomb. All damage. I think that DK could be in trouble here. But with a health potion, I guess he should be fine. A player's forces are under attack. Goes for the big creep. Pound gives him the claws. And there's the expo. And he sees it perfectly in time. Sentry wards, guys. Sentry wards win games. Oh. That would be very unfortunate for Shaddai. I think he's in a good position this game. 100% a cancel. Spreading the skeletons as well. Kind of. Did he lose something to the lag? I don't think a he did. Forces are under attack. Took a little bit more damage from the lightning shield than he perhaps needed to, though. Is under siege. And he's just creeping with the heroes here. I think this could still be dangerous. Like, Keeper comes in range, entangles you once, entangles you twice, entangles you three times. He can entangle you four times. But he got away with it. And there's the expansion again, but now it's gonna be very late. Invul on the Lich. And a second Slaughterhouse. Lots of ghouls here with Frenzy now, of course. Going f what's he spending all his money on? Destroyer form. Needs that, obviously. It's going to be level 2 for the Lich here if he solo creeps this, which he certainly should. Bring. Not exactly what he wanted, but he'll take it. And the Frenzy ghouls against all of these archers, man, are going to be very dangerous. Level 2 for the Lich now. Destroyer form. It's still going to take quite a while. This could be a good fight right now for Tinker for Neutron. Tinker could die very quickly to this combo. Entangle, Acid Bomb, Focus Fire. I think he's dead. He's forgetting about the statues. Slight mistake here. Tinker just barely survives. Nova hits the archers though. The Keeper, remember, he didn't have a TP anymore, but now he has one again. That's level 4 for him. Coil Nova. That's going to be the TP forced here, perhaps. He can hold on to the TP. That's very important. And he's even got bears now. He's taking to tier 3. Almost got the surround the keep on the thingamajig. Coil. Nova. Where's the Nova? He doesn't have the mana still. Even after eating the ghoul. Has to use the TP here to get out. This tree is cancelled, I think. Tinker coming back. And now he does have a destroyer if he wants to morph one. 
Mid here shooting at the Dryads, keeping them away. The Ghouls and the DK take out the expansion. Dude. Is Happy, like, Ghost Rider playing this game? Can't believe how well Shaddai is playing. Has he ever played this well? I don't think so. Another invul here. Tinker so far, not the most impactful. But we'll see. Passing over some tankiness now to him. Lich getting focused, but that's a quick dispel. And there will be a coil. There it is. Alchemist slowed. Not too many ghouls died. I think one or two ghouls died at most. One destroyer, probably not enough. He's gonna morph another one here to have against an answer against the Treants. And against the Entangle. Long range coil saves him just barely above the trees. Pocket Factory coming into the back. One bear is on the ground, but he's not finding any damage. He's lacking behind. He's too slow for all this fast stuff that's running around. The ghouls, though, having a tough time connecting the damage against the Dryads. And good micro here from Neutron. He loses that one dry, not quite fast enough with this. And again, the Tinker in trouble. I think he's dead again. He is. But level one hero only. He's gonna be back soon. Not too expensive. Not too painful. Keeper in trouble though. If he dies, this could be the game. He's being focused. He's being targeted and dropping low. He needs to buy a TP. He does, but doesn't use it in time. Keeper is dead. Invul popped on the Lich. Going for the bears next. Dude should die. This has become such a crappy, uh, scrappy game now. By no means is it crappy. It's pretty damn amazing if you ask me. But more and more rides are coming in. They're really good in this scenario as well. The Lich is dropping low, has to receive the healing potion here, he does, uses it, survives. Coil ready again now, gets one more archer, and now gets in range for the coil. Chemical rage is over, he eats skeleton, not enough mana for a nova just yet, and the alchemist is fairly tanky. Destroyer is coming back, I don't know if they got the bear. Holy shit, holy Christ. 45 supply for Shaddai. A player's forces are under 35 attack. for Neutron. And he's playing the hero, the keeper, with whom you need to get ahead early. And instead he's behind. Shaddai looking to make this a 1-0 game. Even with a tinker that I consider so far to have been mostly useless. No creeping now. It's gonna be level 2 for the Tinker here. It's gonna actually solo creep him. To hopefully make him a little bit stronger perhaps. No. Yeah, I think you, you just accept this Tinker as a liability. I'm not sure you should invest into that hero actually. Greater mana. That is the dream. Oh! Can someone please translate this? Do we have some Russians in chat? Oh, it's getting a lot of translating now. Damn. Banter in English, please. Are under attack. <laughs> A bombs with disease cloud now. Really good. Against the Dryads. He's getting an invul here. He's got. Double mana potion, invul potion. Double invul potion, by the way. Should I, in a commanding position in this game, actually expanding? A player's forces are under attack. Does have the number for that, I guess. Invul pop dirty. Where's the destroyers? Forgot about those for a second. Alchemist in trouble. Is there a staff for him? The staff is on him, but that might not be good enough. With the coil, he falls. Level 3 hero down, and that's it. GG. And Shaddai takes the lead. It has been years since we had a high-level unnet from Europe. Enter came close, but didn't quite get there. We always had happy, of course. But we... We're missing that other guy all the way at the top. And I, I don't know, perhaps I'm overhyping this a little.
but I think Shaddai is playing unbelievably well right now. How did he get so good suddenly? So awesome. <clears throat> All right, one map down, possibly four more to go. AZ, a pretty neutral map, I'd say. I'm not favoring one of the two, um, but one of the best keeper maps. You're going to have a much tougher time finding level 3 on other maps. <clears throat> Second map will be Last Refuge. We do have Terranus in the pool, by the way. So, should I decide to leave Terranus in the pool and instead veto Twisted? Map number two. Can he keep it up? Has it been a fluke? I think Shaddai has played three really strong games now in a row. Can he keep it up? Um, this in the normal meta, um, I think is a pretty good undead map. Level 2 easily done here. Boom. 1 camp, 2 camp. Demon Hunter takes him a while to get level 2. He needs this camp and then either this or this or something. But it's Neutron. This may very well be a keeper. Probably is gonna be a keeper. He doesn't really strike me as the Demon Hunter player. But let's see. One step at a time. There he is again. Keeper of the Grove, Neutron's favorite hero, no question. DK again. So, uh, last game, how did it go? Um, we had a Keeper Archer opening. Keeper hunts, something you will see a lot on ladder, but you see very, very rarely against Undead. It just has, like, no transition. If you go Keeper hunts, you're Keeper hunts for the entire game. Unless the game gets very weird and way later than it ever should. Maybe you can back up with Mercs, but you're kind of stuck. You're not really gonna go to Bears or whatever. And the issue with Hunters is, they die real fast to Fiends plus Focus Fire and a couple of spells. Couple of Novas, namely. What the hell is this? A player's forces are under attack. Okay, he's coming over here for the harass, but he... Okay, and the main, the keeper, could go for an acolyte kill, but it's a little bit dangerous. There is an Arab tower. Could find himself in a surround. It's just going to attack this tomb here. Be a little bit annoying. Early Hunter's Hall here. Shouldn't be too big of a surprise. And the DK once again, gonna go... Oh, nice Moonwell usage. Saves the Wisp, well done. 
and the keeper is actually coming back home to defend. If he can get the surround again, like he did last game. Oh, nice, he saved that wisp as well. Holy shit. With the moon well. Doesn't have the damage. Cancel it. All right, now it's time for Neutron to step it up here. He has saved all of his wisps against the DK Harass. Okay, one, he detonates though against the skeletons and now he's out of mana as well. Very nice start for Neutron. Wait a minute, this is an expansion? No way. He's playing against the Keeper, he can't play Expo here. Oh, Archer in front to block, not quite. Obviously Neutron has seen the skull. Oh, that is so risky. Dude, that is so risky. Oh my god. The DK is trying to keep the attention here of the Night Elf. Make him chase him. Attack. He's teching. He does have the resources for the expo, but that is... Dude, I can't believe he's playing this so risky. Oh my god! Are you for real right now? Staff, you have to be kidding me. He saw where the staff went. He can tell it was somewhere in this line. And now you... Ooh, I don't know about that, buddy. He needs a graveyard Blazers and towers like attack. ASAP. Oh, that's, a super, that's such a risky strat, man. Level 2 keeper now. Another entangle. That's not a kill. Yeah... I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's looking pretty rough right now for Shaddai. He's up a game, of course. He can try something a little bit cheeky. And the Ziggurat's gonna finish. He's gonna get the Nerub. But he cannot really supply these this base with Acolytes. Expo during tech, by the way. Usually a Night of Exclusive. Counter Expo. Couldn't he just pressure this down? Just stay on hunts. Keep on spamming those hunts. I think it could have been able to kill this. Alright. Cool play by Shaidai, definitely, don't get me wrong. But he's playing fast expo against the keeper. Forces are under attack. <laughs> that already sounds like trouble. He's going for Tinker. He really likes that Tinker. Oh, actually there's no more Entangle mana, so he might be safe. Oh, I think he wanted to cancel this, maybe? I wouldn't have had the damage, though. So the Tinker, once again, being Distraction, confirms the Counter Expo. So we're gonna have a long 2 base versus 2 base macro game here, guys. A player's forces are under attack. Hmm. Isn't that something? Undead base mining earlier here? Um, I don't know, man. I'm kind of lost here. Don't know how this is going. I've actually tried fast expanding against Night of myself on ladder. But firstly, I'm a lot worse than these two. And secondly, have certainly not have enough, had enough games to tell you whether that's any good or not. This is the nice thing here about Keeper can easily harass. Treants, Entangle, easy kills. I think you want to get another Necro, right? Because if you lose Acrolytes and you're in tech, it's still expensive. That is the last Entangle for a little while. Oh, <laughs> I know that from my ladder games as well. Did anybody watch yesterday's ladder stream of mine? I was the other. It was the other side here. Ghouls ran into the creep camp here. Panic ensued. Oh, but he actually surrounds the big boy. And here he shows again that he's much better than me. And actually can creep that pretty quickly. That's level two. No, not quite for the tinker. And here come the towers. Very hard. Impossible, pretty much, to break now with. Huntresses. 
That's why I like getting a Necropolis here, somewhere. So you can, first of all, get Acolytes from there, so you can tech safely in the main. And you can have Ghouls harvesting Lumber here. And with that, prote uh, protect the Expo with the Ghouls, because, yeah, he's low on Lumber. Very low on Lumber. Tinker, inching his way towards level 3. But with these heroes, with Dryads now especially, map control does lie with Neutron. Will he go Gargs like you? I have no idea, man. Uh, in my game, it turned out that Hippos are pretty good against Gargs. But he's going Dryads. And Gargs are amazing against Dryads. If there's no Panda. Which there isn't, because this is the new patch. Acid Bomb, though, is also pretty damn good against Gargs. They all clump up. Acid Bomb seen. hits everything. Oh, the Ghoul on a bit of a scouting mission here, I guess. Yeah, I don't think you can break this. Are you gonna try? Counterattack. Oh, and this is where the Tinker is so good. You can go for the counterattack play. You have the Pocket Factory, you have the normal damage from the Ghoul, and I think he has a statue. Yes, he does. And breaking this base is very hard with hunts and dryads. First one's dead. Boom! Does he have a TP? He needs a TP if he wants to keep this expo alive, yeah. And it's just counter TP. And Shadai keeps everything of his alive. Yeah, I don't know. I think this keeper should have played aggressively against this. He already had the hunt set up. Interesting choice. Still only tier 2, by the way. Shaddai is still very low on lumber. Meat wagon. Wow. Wants to really secure this base. In the main, we have tier 3. Bears coming in. Bears, Dryads are usually a really good army in almost every scenario. But against super late game undead. It's pretty crap. Gargs, Frenzy Ghouls, and Worms destroy uh, Dryads and Bears. But usually there's a Lich involved. Second hero Lich, lots of experience, high level. Zeppelin! Alright. Gonna go for some lane plays here with the Tinker maybe. He's gonna get level 3 from this. Okay, level 3 as well. It's gonna be another tree of life here, maybe? Uh, nope, not yet. And Neutron is going into upkeep. 58 supply for him. Should I still... Is he gonna go for the Shredder? I think he is, right? Would make sense. We are in a macro game here. Needs a little more lumber. Oh, I'd love a Shredder, actually. What is he doing? What is this? Two meat wagons and the Tinker and the Zeppelin. Guys, have you seen this before? Ah, oh, there's the tree, by the way. There's the tree, sorry, I didn't see it. Oh my god, he's gonna lame his way into the forest. So annoying. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> A town is under siege. Unbelievable. He's taking to tier three. I, I think he really should have gone for the shredder. Shredder would have been amazing. Melee upgrades, boys. We're going. I don't know. Mass wagons. Yeah, this entangled gold mine is definitely gone. He has a TP here to go back. He sees this tree as well, by the way. DK in the main. Maybe forced into a TP, but it's okay. He has 2,000 gold. Spirit towers everywhere. God. What a game. <laughs> oh, DK's found. There's no getting out of this one. 
Okay. This tree is taking a lot of damage. He has to TP here, I think. Oh my god, he's gonna lose it. Repair! Okay. Finally TPs. And then... Oh, this is dangerous, though. This is really dangerous. You don't know where the TP's gonna be. There's a lot of piercing damage in this. If it was here, the TP, reveal, everything dies. A town is under siege. Does the Tinker have a TP, by the way? He does. He brought the double TPs, boys. I think it's gonna survive, though. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. 100 HP, it survives. So he has three bases, but only one's mining right now. Frenzy coming, Lich coming, more upgrades coming. Only one one though, not too much. New base. A town is under siege. Mass destroyers, ghouls, and wagons and a bombs. That's the play, boys. Two destroyers should be good enough, though. I think I don't think he needs more. Involt pot, in we go! Alright, he's gonna morph all these destroyers, it seems. Oh, come on, man. Regen is so good. Archers have been left here. Uh oh! But they're invisible, thank goodness. TP coming in. Is he gonna take this fight? The answer seems to be yes! Coil, Nova on the keeper. He has the invul though. Actually, Nova wasn't coming in yet. Treants as well being summoned. The bears here. Oh, the lich was lagging far behind. Seems like he wasn't in the control group. Maybe there should have been a scroll of, spe scroll of healing here for the ghouls. It came in, but late. The lich still has his. So we have mass dispel coming in. We have the meat wagons from range. Alchemist is actually level five. Holy crap! Bears are dying. Deserts are dying. Everything's dying here very, very fast. And actually, I think Neutron is having a pretty good hold. He is at 55 supply against 64, 60. But Shaddai is dra dropping rapidly, DK dropping lower as well. And he has to have those destroyers nearby for Dispel. One of them dies, only one survives. And that means Neutron remains on three bases. That was a big mistake though, um, not popping the heal scrolls in time. The first one was late, and did he even use the second one? Yes he did. That could have been done a lot better though. Also. No Shredder here is a big problem. If Shaddai had gone for that Shredder earlier, he would be sitting pretty now on Lumber, but as it is, he is not. Good hold by Neutron, very well done. Archers here are having a tough time. They're stinking. Need to get to the Moonwells. Still no expo here, just the necropolis. Alright, can you take out this tree? The TP is gone, remember. This tree is gonna die quickly. Very quickly. Meat wagons. Putting in the damage. Um, I think this one's gone, maybe. Wisp repair, okay. Trying to hold it with everything that he can. And here we go. Tense moment. There is no TP on the undead side. This is pretty much all in. Very risky, extremely risky. I should die. No more mana on this. DK has mana potions. Tinker in trouble as well. He's got the Ankh, however. This throws moving forward. Even the tree is fighting with him now. Destroyer's dying, and that's the key. When destroyers are dead, the keeper can kind of rule this fight. Oh, but everything's dropping low. The disease cloud is really kicking in, guys. Bear here. Oh, nice. Save. Oh, that meat wagon is very far forward. Wall Marito coming in as well. That is so powerful right here. The Lich has one Nova, but it's only level 1. And A-bombs are dying. Gets a lot of experience. Remember, these heroes are level 5. Ultimates are not too far away either. Crazy game here once again. If he kills his destroyer, that's a massive kill. That means Entangle can rule this battle. And... Oh my god, it's so close. 
kills. Village is dead. It will popped. Transferred at the very last moment. But now the DK. He's blocked in. He's trying to save him somehow. Can he transfer the Ankh? Maybe. He did it. Ankh transferred. DK dies. But will revive. And now the Keeper is out of mana. What the hell is this game? Level 4 for the Tinker. All these archers here an inch away from dying. One Entangle is going to be ready soon. He's next to the shop. Needs to get something to survive. Acid Bomb coming in. The Entangle could be his death. Could be his death. He's next to the shop again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mana Potion coming in. More experience for the Night Elf though. Another kill. Boom. More experience. These archers. Holy crap. Over here. Tree did survive. Is gonna start mining. Soonish. Wow, what a game. I think Neutron's in a good position. This this is not a lot of kills required, guys. He's very close. Also, tranquility could actually be really good. There's no disruption for that. And the mass A-bombs. They're having a tough time. It's going for mass destroyers again. The Lich needs level 3 so, so badly. To Nova against the archers. They're still all poisoned. TP in? What is this? Staff from the alchemist. He's trying to all in against the tree here. Oh, that's dangerous. Is he gonna get it? He needs a coil here. Oh, it's so expensive. Oh, this, even if he gets this tree, this is never worth it. He's not even gonna get it. Oh my god. That was a colossal fail. And that puts Neutron firmly in the lead here. It's also a distraction, though, to get up the towers here. Gonna have two spirit towers. Could be going for two more. Oh, man. If he had gone for a shredder this game... I'm not saying he would have won already, but would have been so much better. AP in the back. Oh, that's so cool. But he sees it. He's gonna cancel it. Easy pocket factory. Creep camp's gone. Undead heroes. A town is under siege. Are pretty good. They're not unbeatable yet, though. If these heroes get to five, 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 this army doesn't do anything anymore. Ah, well, the transmute maybe. Crazy game. Mains expired. And with that, he does have the lumber again for the new haunted. There it is. A player's force is Maybe he can attack. drop here with the zeppelin. He still has a zeppelin over here. Should I with barely any army? A town is under siege. Oh, the statues. He keeps on forgetting about these. Brings them back in time. This is level 6, guys. This is level 6 alchemist. There it is. Uh-oh. He can transmute destroyers now. Magic immunity does not count when it comes to ultimates. Attacking up here, though, that's the one way he loses this game, I think. A town is under uh oh siege. <laughs> One wagon drop. I like it. He's actually going up there. Crazy man is actually going up there. There's a staff home from the alchemist. Transmute. That one. The alchemist can't get back here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's fast, though. He can walk back pretty quickly. So far, nothing lost, I think. That bear's dead, so is the Ancient of War. Is it mining again? It's almost mining again. More experience for the Undead side. DK, close to level 5 now. Transmute has a 45 second cooldown. 
There's normally no way you can outvalue that. It's almost ready again. There it is. Got him. Level 6 keeper now. Oh man, I think he has gotten too big to fail maybe. Expo here by the way, almost dead. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's the play? Heroes maybe. Level 5 DK. Can that carry the game for him? He's giving up the main. He's completely giving up his main base. He's trying to trigger here a retreat. But he could just walk over the, the Tree of Eternity. Right here. TP home. Black Citadel survives. And it's time for Transmute again. Rocket coming in. Transmute again. Tree survives. Lich is dead. And I think he did it. Damn, dude, Neutron. Great patience. Taking this late. A player's forces are under attack. And this is uh, not coming back the normal way. And now this space is gone. He's going desperation, mass. What? Necros? Well, Transmute isn't too good against Necros, I guess. Can't even afford the revive. And there is a TP, so he can TP oh, back to this. Are under attack. Gonna save this as well. Neutron has weathered the storm. He survived the old early expansion. The big attack later. Is under siege. And I think it kind of came down to a few scrolls of healing. That one decisive fight right here, where the Lich was late, and the first scroll was late as well. And now it's Alchemist. Does he have Transmute ready? He does! Booyah! Almost level 7 now. Ah, uh, the Necros. They're coming! But they're... also kind of far away. Can't go for the Master Training, by the way. Because no more Black Citadel. But he did get Adept. Alright, this, this A-click might just be good enough here. Tranquility in the back. Everything's getting healed. This Alchemist level 7, he sold uh, something else. The rockets didn't cancel this. Did you see that? He went for the rockets and they didn't cancel the tranquility. What the hell was that? Right? That was very weird. The rockets missed? How can they miss? Ah. Is rockets like a channeling skill? Like impale? I've never used rockets in my life.
<laughs> would have been a win otherwise. <laughs> Not really. The ult has a few seconds of invul. No, no, no. The invul's at the beginning. That was way later. All right, thank you very much, uh, stupid panda man, for the sub. Welcome. Dude, this is shaping up to be one great final. Impale is channeling, question mark? Yes, it is. If you impale and stop command right away, the impale is only like two feet long. He used invul first, then attack cast tranquility. No, that's also incorrect. The invul effect that you see is from tranquility. But it might be that tr uh, rockets are channeling like impale. So if they're in the air and then you do something else, then they cancel. That could be. If you cancel rockets too soon, they don't stun. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I was like, what? For a second. Keeper again. Shouldn't surprise us anymore. Ooh, this is a very late hero. It's very unusual. Oh shit. The town is under siege. Oh shit, boys. Oh shit. Oh, isn't the new patch awesome? There might be a few edges that we need to smooth smooth off. But I'm loving this new patch so much, man. Carpet Bagger. Thank you very much for the sub. Welcome. And yeah, you think you're the king of early control, but this guy, this is the true king of early control. Pretty cheesy, really frustrating to play against, and can fall off a lot later, kind of like this guy. Oh, is he gonna walk out of sleep range? No, he's not. And that should be an easy surround to- oh, he misses it. That might not be closed. Alright, that one definitely is closed. TP force right away. Expo, of course. Um, that is the cheese you see on ladder all the time. Oh, he bought two sacrificial skulls. That was a bit of a misclick. A player's Ooh, force he's not expanding, attack. boys. There's a double crypt ghoul rush with a dreadlord. The wisp sees it, though. Oh, damn. Oh damn, oh damn. A town is under siege. It's a tower rush, guys. It's a tower rush! Alright. Uh, update the score overlay, yeah. The player's forces are under attack. Uh, that's your fault, bro. Alright, there we go. We're back in! Nice detonate against the sleep here, but he is looking to be kind of trapped here. Can he keep it closed? He can! This keeper is 100% dead. And he's level 2, so it's gonna take him a while to come back. This archer is apparently stuck as well. And just like that. Ooh, but he killed, he de dispelled, but there's a second one. Needs to dispel against this as well, can't dispel in time! Jesus Christ. What a crazy final this is. And no gold right now. No gold income. He's forced to repair all the time. He doesn't have a graveyard, so it's only gonna be Nerobs. But Nerobs are pretty good. And now he's got level 2. Now he's got 20% lifesteal. <laughs> Sleep on the Wisp. I think that's psychological play. Just going like, whatever, dude. I got towers in your base. What do you have? One narrow up. And I don't see these two getting cancelled. Not too many ghouls though. 
He uprooted? What? To fight against the towers, I guess? Okay. Next Nero coming in. He doesn't have a TP, remember? If he gets surrounded, maybe he loses the hero? I think it's still fine. Surround against the Huntress almost. But it's a slowed Huntress. Could still easily get the surround. And he gets it. Has a dust. Use the dust. Gets the kill. Couple of ghouls dying here as well. Gonna have three Nerobs here. Two more Ziggurats coming in. Get ready for this on ladder, guys. <laughs> That's it. Two one for Shaddai. Dreadlord Tower Rush. What the hell? What the hell? Seriously. <sighs> One map away now is Shaddai from qualifying to Rust Brain Cup 8. Abuse versus abuse. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Uh, fight fire with fire. I think you want to just like mass detonate against that, right? Send in wisps forward. Drain the Dreadlord, so he can't go for that sleep surround again. <sighs> Terra Stand, the Night Elf map. This should be the win for Neutron most of the time. For that reason, and for the reason that Shaddai is ahead, maybe he's gonna cheese again here, who knows? Two skulls were not misclicked, they were on purpose. True. I thought he was gonna expand. And maybe Neutron thought so too. For a while at least. Oh damn! Guess who's subscribing? It's Neo. How you doing, bro? Enjoying the final here, I certainly am. This was actually semifinals plus finals so far are so good, despite semifinals both being under mirror, uh, both being mirror. I mean, one under mirror, one night of mirror. Neo wants to get that record up. We have more Twitch subs now than we have ever had. And I know you guys are curious. We are now at 856. Thanks to a very successful September. And thanks to all of you guys. All right. Um, map number four. Uh, we've had fast expansions. We've had tower rushes. AZ was a normal game, but that was just a straight up, very well played normal game by Shaddai. Dude, he's looking. I'm I'm probably starting to overhype him here, but he's looking kind of like a champion. He can cheese you. He can solid game outplay you. I've never seen him play like this. It's actually amazing. You think we're going to see Neutron in China this year? Dude, we might see Shaddai in China this year. Why didn't Shaddai play WGL qualifier? Gonna has, have to ask Demon later. KX85 extended his subscription here that he was gifted to... That he was gifted from Knubby Quakes. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, keeper again. Um, seems like in Neutron's hero, in Neutron's altar, there's only one hero. Where is the keeper, actually? I think he's bottom left, right? I don't know, actually. I don't even know where the undead heroes are. I think Dreadlord's here. Cryptlord? Honestly, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Okay. DK it is. Uh, no more sleeps around cheese. Only entangled cheese. But with what? Early Expo, Huntresses. I think the metagame has kind of settled on the high level on a fairly quick tier 2 tech with the Alchemist. With the Entangle plus Acid Bomb being such a strong combo. And again, this very aggressive move out by Neutron. He did that as well against that human. Who was that again? Hawk! Right. Um, not creeping first, but rather going for archers. And then with the first couple of archers plus Entangle looking for the kills. But the ghouls haven't left the main yet. It's only a DK creeping here. And he's eyeing up those claws. Circle instead. Lots of bonus health here for him. Not bad. Could survive one or two more entangles with this. Not being forced into the TP. Something like that. And here's the tech. Exactly the same speed, right? And pretty much exactly the same. Moonwell save. You can't build a Moonwell here. Or here. Gets the kill. Oh shit. The alarm's going off somewhere. Can you hear it? A town is under siege. Google's moving out now. That might be the level 2 DK. I'm not sure actually. A player's forces are under attack. Second Crypt. Gargs. First time in the series is al always um, the theoretical answer to the Keeper. Up in the air, can't get entangled. Doesn't fight the greatest against archers though. But for that, you have the ghouls, I guess. Creeps ran out here. Did he build something and it aggroed the creeps maybe? I don't know. Should I looking for a big creep camp now? Honestly, it's a pretty easy creep camp nowadays. Um, it used to be really hard here. The natural is he expanding again? A player's force is You never know with these undeads nowadays. I think you should probably go for the high priest first here. No, but okay. Still easy to creep. Lots of medium armor, easily taken out with duels, footmen, all that stuff. Oh my god, the scout on the expansion. So quick. You could try to pressure this. Try to fashion a timing around it on tier 3. Or counter expand. Lots of opportunities now for Shaddai. Gargoyles it is. Tier 2, Gargs. Old school play. Really old school play. Found the boots. Pretty useless. Oh, the sentry is really good. This sentry is really, really nice. And Shaddai is... All right, he's gonna look for the cancel. There we go. And Neutron, he was expecting the counter expo, but uh-oh. Not the case. Now he is so far out of position. This is 100% cancelled. Even if he TPs home, which would be so expensive. Can't save it. Yeah, cancels it right away. Good play. Save some resources. And now we have guards coming in. Ooh, Shaddai maybe wanting to steal this creep camp away. Uh, no. If he could cancel lores here, that would be a big deal. If he cancels both lores and that costs the TP, that is definitely worth it. And I think that's what he's trying. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. That one's gone. Can he get the second one? This is the big one. This is the big one. I think he's got it. Oh, it's a lot of damage on the ghouls, though. It's a lot of damage on the ghouls. The yeah. TP's out. Oh, I don't know if that's in time. The gargs, they're in TP range. Oh my god! Oh, if this had been cancelled, dude, that would have been so massive. 
it was one or two hits away. All right, semi-successful attack. Two ghouls lost and a TP for one Ancient of Lore. Probably not quite worth it. Alchemist also really good against Skarg's Acid Bomb. Really nice, and you can attack him as well. All right, tier three is coming. Has started a little while ago, and Wisp Hunt it is. Super old school play. <clears throat> DK is very speedy here with the aura and the items. Oh, this. He's not in danger. Only level one entangle. That is not too impressive. Gets the one wisp here. More experience towards him. Saw the expo, of course. Knows about the timing. It's in the middle, kind of. Not too easy for the gargs to harass. He's not gonna get this. Not enough guards. A player's forces are under attack. The one guard here and just barely gets away. Four guards left. Plenty of acid bomb mana. Can pressure them quite a bit more. Uh oh. Put him into the same group. Wow, the split against the acid bomb. Did you see that? Holy shit. Holy shit. His guards are actually still all alive. But now we have dryads. Plus, uh, what's it called? Alchemist. So, Gargs can't really do too much right now. Tier 3 is coming though. This is quite a few ghouls. Slaughterhouse, very late. Did you forget about it? It kind of looks like it. Tree still takes a while. It's gonna take him a minute to finish and walk over here, and another minute to entangle. Still quite a bit of time for Shaddai here before the expo is really kicking in. And there you see all the gargs that he saved. Well done. Greater healing. Could become useful. There's no lich by the forces are under attack. Stone form is gonna be very much appreciated. Double scroll of healing. Does he not have frenzy? He doesn't have Frenzy. Level 2 Aura, but no Frenzy. That's... that cannot be right. Frenzy is like the best upgrade in the game. No Orb either. This is very weird. All of this is very strange. First Dryad dies easily. Oh, nice Stone Form save. Really hard to kill this one. But with the Acid Bomb, he does get the kill! Finally. Another one. Stone form a little bit too late. That's the level up for the keeper. Oh, that was a big kill. That was a big kill. Now he has frenzy, by the way. The Just finished, apparently. Nothing coming from the main in terms of heroes. New acolyte coming. This is probably going to be the counter expansion then. Expo here is entangling. He could cancel this easily with the Garks. Staff galore on the keeper. Stopping lower, by the way. Level 4 now for the DK. Level 2 coil unlocked. Lots more hero kill potential. But ghouls are dying pretty easily here to these dryads. Right, once again, heal stroll now. The first one, I think. Yeah, he still has the second one. Coil saves the garg. Oh, but it's looking like Neutron stabilizing. We do have a, a Acolyte over here, but no Lumber for the expansion. And now he's fighting into Moonwells. That could be overdoing things. Satyu comes in. That's a big help. That's a lot of Dryads, though. That's a lot of Dryads. And these Gargs are being picked off. Yep, this is critical mass now. He cannot fight these Dryads anymore. And I think that's it. Neutron here was under quite a bit of pressure, but he does hold. And this uh, is not going to come to anything. Now going for the Lich. So, so late. Uh, 
And here it is, Expo Mining. Gonna be mass, mass dryads. Upgrades probably coming in soon. Already has the one for the attack. Was a really good hold though by Neutron. If he cancels that second lore, I wonder how different this game might look. A player's forces are under attack. Hmm. So here's a legend now finally. Orb plus Garg Focus Fire against Dryad is really good. Especially when there's no AoE against them. There's not exactly AoE nuke like a panda would give, but there is the Alchemist. Who I think is really good against Gargs. Especially if they clump up. Level 3 now as well. Getting stronger and stronger. Dreadlord 3rd. For what? Looks strange to me. Alright. He finds the Zoe Mask here. Amazing item. DK, by the way, close to 5. Keeper will always have to bring something to survive. It's too dangerous otherwise. And uh, this is... This is the creep jack that might seal this game. Oh my god, it's so many dryads. Doesn't have entangle here to get the A-bomb out of the... Uh, doesn't have the spell, I mean. To get the A-bomb out and... It's just kill after kill now. Keeper will die. Could this be his way back? Uh, I don't know. Still has a tough time fighting against the dryads yet. The DK is surrounded now. Has a health potion though. But the Gargs are dying one by one. Solo experience for the Alchemist as well. If you can kill the Alchemist though... Hold on. Hold on! Health potion? No way. No way. He can go for Zeppelin. He has to buy a Zeppelin maybe to survive. Oh, Are you serious dude? Are you serious right now? But he just buys them back both. Just buys them both back. Expo money, easy. Here's the Dreadlord. And now there's an extra round on the Lich. There is one coil only. He's trying to stay out of vision range, but... Uh, he was aware. Neutron playing this well here now. Double level ups for him, and uh, he's not gonna lose them again. Oh, okay. Oh, the staff. Save them. There's just too many dryads. Too many! Staff back. Hello, says the keeper. That wasn't quite necessary, but alright. A bomb dies. Is he gonna check for this? I think he is, right? Yeah, he's gonna check for it. There was a wisp here earlier. Um, I don't know where he went. Yeah. All right. If he didn't scout this, then maybe this is still somehow doable. But no, 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 no. We have tier three by now as well. We're gonna have bears. We're gonna have Rejo. It's not only dryads. Hero kill. The only way this could possibly ever work. But he's got the staff. He's got three staffs, in fact. And that's the next kill. Acid Bomb! Plus, Entangle is pretty strong. GG! And the 2-2, we come... to game number five here in a moment. And make this a... full series, hell yeah! <clears throat> A 
Apparently he didn't play in the qualifier because he had to work, by the way, is what I was told. He has to work on Saturdays. Man, with how well he's playing, I thought he was... 24-7 Warcraft. Mm. One of the most interesting finals here in a good game cup that I've seen in a while. Different strats every game. Really, really entertaining. Close for the most part. I think that game was one of the most one-sided ones. And, you know, we kind of go back and say, well, it's Terranus. But that, that is like old meta thinking. That is like thinking Demon Hunter, Bears, Dryads, Late Expo, Panda Slash, Naga. You know, it's, it's, it's not the same anymore. It's all different. For many players, including these players. Turtle Rock, the last map of today. Now, in the past, this used to be a very tough night of map. Very hard to creep. Undead can run away from you in experience. Close positions, a headache in and of itself. But again, that is old meta thinking. That is Demon Hunter meta. This is the Keeper meta. At least when Neutron is playing. Here we go, guys. Last map of the day. Who is gonna win our second qualifier here for Rust Brain Cup 8? First player to qualify was Blade last week. And now it's Neutron or Shaddai. The big surprise. Nobody expected him. Shaddai kind of disappeared for a while. He was practicing up in the mountains with the Shaolin monks or something. I don't know. Something happened to him. It's absolutely breathtaking. What does he have in store for us here? Normal opening so far. Ghoul build. And on the other side... Ooh. Ooh. You know what this means. No keeper. In the final deciding game, no keeper. Neutral hero, so what? Beastmaster? Dark Ranger? Should be one of the two. I must say, I'm not a fan of either. With good micro, it's so easy to out micro them. And Shaddai has shown some amazing micro so far. Few mistakes here and there. That heal scroll will not lose, uh, will not leave my mind. But in general, very solid, very good. In days past, um, every now and then a panda would be used. But that was very gimmicky and unreliable already back then. Panda now has been nerfed quite noticeably. So, in a world where not too much craziness is, a, is allowed, this should be a Beastmaster or a Dark Ranger. Most likely a Beastmaster. Alright, here we go. Where's the ghoul, by the way? Ghoul only scouted close positions. Oh. <laughs> Wisp survives the coil. A player's forces are under attack. Alright, there's the Beastmaster. So this is going to be very quick and easy level 2 creeping for the DK if he goes from green camp to green camp. Sending out skeletons early here. Notice how he only scouted the close positions to get the ghoul back into the main quickly to have Lumber to tech quickly. Could cancel the ghoul and tech right now. But he will let the ghoul finish. And here we go. The skeleton sees the Beastmaster. This makes creeping a lot easier. Something that is usually very hard to do for Nidalv on this map. And I'm talking about Demon Hunter plays. 
But now he has Quillbeast to block. And it will be easily getting to level 2. And perhaps... Easily to level 3 as well. Slight mistake there. Losing the ghoul to the creeps hurts a little. Here's level 2 for the DK now. Moving across. But he's not going to have a level advantage, as we can see. Base Master here gets his own level 2. Claws of attack, not too bad for him. And this is looking pretty standard. Knight of Tech actually eh, a bit ahead. Not too much. A little bit ahead. Oh, DK. In a bit of danger there of getting surrounded. Needs to go for the dust here. Hawk, very valuable here. Providing constant vision. There's absolutely nothing to be done about that for the time being. Oh, last second coil. Cool's trying to get in front of the archers. And he will get that one. The so round stuck. And the dust ensures the kill. Notice how he's trying to send away the ghoul, trying to save it on low HP, not being forced to use that coil. But he will be forced to use it in the end, trying to bait the Beastmaster into a bad position. God damn it! Should I again, playing this so well. And now he can send this ghoul home, it will survive, he has more mana now left because he didn't use that coil. What I was trying to say though about the Beastmaster is he's strong early, falls off however. So, like many other heroes, like a Keeper and a Dark Ranger oftentimes, you will have to go for an expansion. Not the case just yet though. This is the ghouls diving deep now. This might be an overextension, yeah, I realize it. It's too much damage here, Moonju's backup, it's not gonna be a good engagement. So he backs off. So far he's only lost the one ghoul that was to the creeps. A lot of archers. Six archers. After losing one. But he's got the Hunter's Hall. Alchemist again. Shouldn't surprise us anymore. <laughs> Madfrog. <laughs> Madfrog, by the way, playing as well, in case you guys haven't heard yet. Players' forces are under attack. This is pretty nice about the Beastmaster as well. Hard to take cramps like this. Easy to creep now. With all those archers and the summons, and that ward is gonna be very valuable throughout the entirety of the game. DK coming in looking for some coil last hits. Oh, look at the Wisp in position as well to detonate if he needs to. Oh, unfortunate ensnare. The ghoul reach around actually. That archer is most likely dead. Ah, the ghoul flank was looking really good. Oh, he almost gets in front as well. This could have been another archer kill, as this one does die. Ah, but now, Neutron positioning here. Consolidating his forces. Long range coil saves the ghoul. DK is pretty damn fast. Unlikely he's going to get surrounded here. Lich coming in. Lots of ghouls in the main. Nothing but ghouls. What do we have for the Night Elf? Dryads. Dryads are pretty damn good against ghouls. They hard counter normal ghouls. Against frenzy ghouls, they still fare well. But don't completely annihilate them. And no expansion. I think that's the biggest deal here. Oh, nice. The archers find one kill. Um, but more ghouls are coming. A whole bunch of ghouls are coming. He's trying to get in front once again. Here comes the aura. That's quite a bit of damage. Archer here surprises him, changing directions. And now the DK can chase and finish it off with a coil. And that is, have you guys been counting? I think four archer kills now. Compared to one ghoul killed by the Night Elf and one ghoul from the creeps. Good blocks here once again. Saves his hurt friend, most likely. Lich is back. Waiting for the orb, DK covering the back, wanting to go for a bit of an archer hunt if they should come in. But they weren't coming in. Oh, the quill beast, that's nice. He's gonna get one kill here? A player's he's not diving for attack. this, really? Maybe he's got it in the other group still. Tier three's done. Seen. Once again, late slaughterhouse here. Is that his, just his thing? And the orb, Lodge didn't get the orb. 
maybe thought um, his, uh, that Neutron was creeping this one, tried to creep jack this. Didn't want to give him that camp. Because the Beastmasters are very close to level 3. Alright, here we go. He forgot the orb. Uh oh, he forgot the orb and the statue is blocked by the ziggurat. A couple of mistakes here. Finding their way into the game of Shaddai. It's double slaughterhouse, by the way. Didn't see the other one earlier. That's just his answer to Dryads, I guess. Uh, another ghoul lost to the creeps here. It's painful. A little. A player's force just needs to chop down this tree, but... Not looking at his base at the moment, as it seems. Level 3 for the DK. Skeleton scouting here for an expansion. We still have no expo. We have mass dryads. Right, now he realizes it. That's, uh, right, there we go. The way has been opened. And here. Now he goes for the orb. Okay, didn't need it before, I guess. More statues coming in, so no ab abominations yet. A player's forces are under attack. Cadgus pipe. Alright, I guess. A little more region for the heroes. But good level ups. Level 3 now for the Alchemist as well. Oh my god, how does he have so much supply? 56 already? Even with going for an expo earlier. That I also didn't see, by the way. Sorry. It's gonna be a good creep jack now for him. Coming in here against the ghouls. And yeah, he's not fight ready for the fight yet. They're just gonna grab the item, greater mana or greater healing. Both really good, which he found earlier. A player's and are under yeah, the skeleton sees the expo. Important that this statue survives, and it will survive. Although, it did take quite a bit of damage. So looks like it's gonna be an all-in fight here. Against his expansion. The archers are possibly going to die very quickly to the Frenzy Ghouls. Has to go for a Scroll of Healing here, I think, right? Yeah, there we go. Scroll of Healing. Hopefully this time used a little bit better than before. He's pulling everything. Every single ghoul. He did see the expo, right? He has to attack this. The skeleton was right there. Did he really not see it? Nah, he's trying to creep drag as well though. Maybe that's more important than going for the expo right now. There is a TP here. He's focusing on the Beastmaster somewhat. A-bombs here, busy with the heroes. Heal scroll already coming in. That was the only one. Level 4 for the Beastmaster. The creeps here, helping out the undead in this game. It seems like, but... Where are all the ghouls? They're all dead. Only A-bombs left now, and they don't have Disease Cloud. Riots are dying, a few of them, but it's gonna be a lot of them coming back. TP home from the Beastmaster, he tanked up a lot of damage, soaked up a lot of mana from the undead. Those ghouls just disappeared immediately. Acid Bomb plus Riots. Doing good damage right there. For TP now, buying and selling a couple of items. Dryad's coming back in. Wants to look for that fight now. Doesn't want to give him any time, I guess. Doesn't want to let him creep, I suppose. Greater mana used. Always a tough fight here. He's going for the hero kills. His Hail Mary approach, and I think that's his best choice. He's dropping very low, this hero here, the Alchemist, but he saves him. With that staff. Archer's in quite a bit of trouble, certainly. But the Dryads, he can do barely anything to the Dryads. Level 4 and level 3 level ups here. And also the Hawk here. Coming in. Fiends in this scenario, I don't know, could have perhaps been better. More A-bombs are coming from the main, but they don't have Disease Cloud. They're not spreading the poison right here. Perhaps mismanaging his lumber earlier. The story is coming back in. They're visible above the trees because there is flying vision from the Hawk. Again, going for the Alchemist here. He denies the A-bomb, but not with any mana to be gathered. It's gonna be big dispels. Could have been a triple dispel here. 
these masses. So much mana all the time. And it's looking rough now for Shaddai. He's got barely anything left. 30 supply only. Hmm. And the DK's around. Oh, that was sweet. He's got the TP though. He's going to be able to get out. But the expo stands. He held. And that attack... I imagine it to be scarier than it was. The mass melee attack. A-bombs plus ghouls and a couple of destroyers. Seemed to be getting easily held there. Finally he has the disease though. Medallion, not bad. Anything really that keeps him alive is good. Because that's all that he needs now. Keeping his heroes alive. As long as he does that, this game must be his. A player's forces are under attack. I've heard people saying that uh, A-bombs are pretty good counter to Dryads. I'm still not so convinced. Getting towards that 50 supply mark once again. A player's forces are under attack. Something minor, I guess, to point out is very inefficient lumber harvesting from the ghouls. That certainly doesn't matter now. But if they had been here all the time, then he would have had disease cloud way earlier. And maybe that could have made a difference. Five five heroes now, or at least about to be, for Neutron. He is looking to be in an unlosable situation right here. One more all-in attempt is coming in from Shaddai. He's played a phenomenal tournament here, but I don't know that there's any way to do this now. Hero kills, I think, has to be the answer, as it is so often for undead. Has to be the answer, but there's a TP, there's an invul, there's a staff, and to make matters worse, there's also rune bracers. Destroyer falls before we even have a real battle. He's gonna get one bear. Not even. Takes too long, good micro, the Rejo keeps it alive. And now it's only three A-bombs. DK is out of mana, he can't coil any of these A-bombs. The Hawk looks flashy, but it's the rides that are doing it. They're just finding target after the target. The Pocket Factory gets killed off in one volley, he says GG well played. And that's true, but it also goes for him. Shaddai playing very well here, only one step away from making it, from qualifying. But it is Neutron! Congratulations, second player to qualify for Rust Brain Cup 8.